A nation looking up. Millions stop what they're doing and look to the sky as the moon completely covers the sun in a total solar eclipse, something we won't see again on the U.S. mainland until 2044. Glad you're with us for Local 4 News at 5 on a big day. I'm Devin Skillion. Good evening. I'm Karen Drew in for Kimberly Gill. We have a jam-packed show for you today, and it's filled with everything you need to know about today's eclipse. Let's say hi to our eclipse coverage team. Christy and Kim Adams are in Toledo. Paula, Paula is hanging out in Luna Pier, and Ashley has been spending the day in Cleveland. And let's get started with Christy. Hey, uh, Karen and Devin, you hear the chimes behind me here at the University of Toledo campus. It is quiet, much like it was when we got here this morning about 8 o'clock. And then the frenzy of activity, thousands of people gathering here to see the total eclipse. There is so much excitement because you can describe all you want about what you're going to experience. But until you actually experience it, start to grow dark. The temperature dropped by 7 degrees. You just really don't know it until you are in it. And so this is a look at what it was like at 3 12 in the afternoon on the campus of the University of Toledo. It was really a jubilant experience. People were cheering, exciting. You had couples hugging each other, not even quite sure really how to react. Uh, I think I grabbed Kim Adams' arm a couple times during the entire thing. It really was exhilarating to be able to experience with a crowd of people. And I talked to a few people afterwards about how they felt about how it all went. Um, the sky was wild. With the glasses, we've seen. The, the, the what was it the circle like the circle yeah. mm -hmm. like the like it was like a crescent mm -hmm. and we watched the whole thing and then once it once it like covered completely and we could take our glasses off I've never seen anything like that in my life what was the feeling in terms of the temperature the wind people around you um, it was super breezy it got really dark really fast um, it was definitely uh, it was a phenomenal experience for sure the energy was crazy like feeling that temperature drop and seeing like the colors change right in front of you. Yeah, uh, being a part of that, never seeing it again. I'm glad I was here today. And Brendan and Stephanie told me they may or may not have been skipping out work today to be able to come and experience this. A minute and 28 seconds here in Toledo. It was so cool. And again, I grabbed Kim Adams' arm a couple of times. We got to experience it together, and she's with me on the campus here right now. Hey, Kim, it was a moment. It was. I think I still have the mark to prove it, Christy. Now, I'm really glad that you did that, though, because I was so engrossed in the science of it that I wasn't really experiencing it. I was really just looking at it, looking at that corona. The corona is like plasma. It's it's charged gas, those little wisps that you saw coming out. That's plasma, and that's, that's the atmosphere, and that's what we're studying. And not just me, but scientists from all over the world are studying this eclipse today. And this eclipse was better than the one that we had in 2017 for multiple reasons, one of which is that the moon was just a little bit closer to the Earth this time, and that made a big difference. The path of totality was nearly doubled in size. An additional 19 million people got to experience that totality. So it was an incredible event, but other than just being cool, for scientists, this eclipse was critical. Uh, what I was impressed at is even though we had the high level clouds, you could see details of the sun's lower atmosphere and the upper atmosphere. You could actually see the red of the chromosphere, which is amazing. And we're going to learn interesting things about the sun, especially given that it is at pretty much the height of its activity cycle. And that is going to cause some interesting space weather possibly for us. So maybe the next show the sun gives us will be some northern lights down in here. Which would be incredible. And if you were looking at the eclipse during totality and you saw something that looked like a star down to the right of it, that was Venus. If you could see up to the left, about 30 degrees to the left, that was Jupiter. Both of them were visible. Mars and Saturn, not so much, but I know that astronomers could see Mars and Saturn. I couldn't see it with my naked eye, but a lot of people could. But if you were looking and you thought, is that a star? No, that was indeed Venus. And w one interesting thing here at the University of Toledo was that when it was all over with, the church bells rang out, here comes the sun. Oh. And I can tell you this eclipse was more than just all right. Oh, that's so it great. most definitely Devin, was. I know you and Christy were talking about that moment you guys had, but I will say Devin and I were listening to you and you could hear both of you gasp at the same yep. time. Yep. And then it was just silent. It was so cool. Like We felt like we were right there with you. It was so cool. All right, thank you, Kim. Yeah, I know. I, th I th 
You're welcome. <laughs> Wanted to be to cut her off. All right. Well, most of Michigan was in the 99% range for the eclipse. What small town was able to see 100% totality? Granted, it was only for about what 19 seconds. 19 seconds. Yeah. But what a 19 seconds it was. And our Paula Tutman was there in Luna Pier for it. The eclipse's peak there, very short, but nonetheless electric and a big crowd. Oh. And, and very, very memorable. And Kim is talking about how cool this was for scientists, but downright frigid once you were here. Uh, you talk about the awesomeness and the power of the sun. As soon as the sun, we lost sight of the sun, it got really, really cold. But it was also incredibly exciting. I just want you to take a look at the office view here. We're right here perched on uh, Lake Erie. The mayor walked by afterwards. He says this was an unparalleled success. We had just the right number of crowds, people coming from all over the place, but not too much. People had space. They had room, but there was this incredible sense of togetherness. And for that 19 seconds, when you're able to take off your glasses and actually see what was going on, it was amazing. But also the voices that rang out, take off your glasses, glasses on, glasses off. Glasses on, glasses off. Uh, with the sun being as bright as it is, you can only take your glasses off during totality. Any other point, you are risking retina damage to your eyes. So I just, obviously, with all the people here, I don't want people to ruin their eyes because you kind of need them to see. So uh, <laughs> you I just, do. yeah, I, how I, I, incredible I, was it? It was, it was absolutely phenomenal. I just never seen anything like it. The atmosphere just changed. It got really chilly. It, it was almost not like it was this, it was like a sunset, but not. It was this weird, I don't even know how to describe the light that we saw. Yeah, and it, it, it was something. The lights flickered, fish started coming up from the water, the birds just kind of disappeared, but there was also this incredible sense of oneness, just this hum, and then this ooh, and then this wow. It was only 19 seconds, but oh, Ashley Barrissey, it was an amazing 19 seconds. What about you there in Cleveland? Absolutely, Paula. On the other side of Lake Erie, we were closer to the center line of that path of totality, meaning we had three minutes and 50 seconds of totality. And there was a lot of uncertainty leading up to this moment what the cloud cover would be here because of the overall weather pattern. But when you have a nice warm spring day, I will tell you there's this phenomenon that's called a lake shadow that sometimes that lake can help clear out some of the cloud cover and conditions were absolutely spectacular for today's cosmic event. And when you mention having those glasses on, glasses on, glasses off, well, it was almost like opening a present because when you got to totality, your glasses were completely black. You took them off, and this is what you experienced. Because that was something I just never expected. It was just absolutely amazing. What was the experience like for you? It was awe inspiring. Um, I'm a photographer, so I see a lot of cool stuff, but the eclipse was definitely, I think, uh, once in a lifetime. Like the sun just turned off. It was like we, our shadows disappeared. Everything was like it was so incredible. Like I, I got so many pictures and everything. It was just a moment to remember for the rest of your life. And she's not wrong. It is a moment that'll be etched in your memory for the rest of your life. And I will tell folks for years to come if you have a chance to experience it 20 years from now in 2044, I would highly suggest it. Back to you guys. Yeah, no doubt. It's a little bit of a wait, but we'll do it. It is most definitely. Thank you, <laughs> Ashley, so much. We